Fawad Mohammadi never thought he'd be walking down the red carpet in Kabul. He's the star of a short movie called Buzkashi Boys. It was set and filmed in his native Afghanistan. It's about a blacksmith's son and a street boy. They dream of becoming famous playing the national sport, Buzkashi, a fierce competition on horseback. Buzkashi Boys uh, was conceived as a way to provide all the on-the-job training, first of all, for Afghan filmmakers, and also as a way to show another side of the country that I, I had grown to love. Filming here was a challenge. It took a year to get government permission, bring in equipment, and assemble a cast and crew. Then there were problems with weather and some of the locations. But the cast says an original Afghan film is worth the trouble. Lots of films in Afghanistan, they're, they're copied from Bollywood and uh, from other countries. And uh, I hope that uh, our, uh, our filmmakers should make like these films. Yeah, the real culture of Afghanistan. The story of the two boys' dreams mirrors the aspirations of Afghans. The film's already been screened to critical acclaim around the world, in China, the United States, Canada, and Italy. But this couple premiere is the first time the cast will see the movie, and this Afghan audience, the director says, is the one that counts the most. Organizers had no trouble filling the theater with an enthusiastic audience. After uh, a long time, uh, somebody came to Afghanistan and uh, made a film, uh, not about explosion, not about the suicide, about hope, about uh, a wish. This was impossible to do under the Taliban. They decimated the movie industry, burning down theaters and destroying film reels. But Bushkashi Boys may help the industry recover. It's no Hollywood happy ending for, this, for these two kids, but I hope there's a Hollywood ending for the filmmakers that worked on the production. Some of the Afghans who worked on this film are developing others, and they hope to produce a full-length movie here in Afghanistan sometime next year. Jennifer Glass, Al Jazeera, Kabul.